is if if they want to do work with these guys, you got to bring everybody into the loop. And not all of these fighters are ready for everyone to be in the loop. There's not enough money. It, it's 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 totally ass backwards. I'm glad L. Heyman has had that credit card to fall back on. Hopefully that holds up in court for him. Um, but that's literally what's keeping these guys in the PBC alive. This is was this credit card. It had nothing to do about the ratings. It had nothing to do about the live gate. It had nothing to do about the opponents that these guys were facing. The only thing that paid this whole PBC thing is this investors, this money that these investors gave him. We need that to end. We need these fighters to actually have to fight and put people in. I mean, basically, what, what Floyd Mayweather has been complaining about the last few months. Don't listen to me. Go look, go look up what Floyd says about the fighters nowadays. And there's way too much of this, these, these build, let's build the fight. Let's build the fight. How about not? How about let's have just a round robin of everybody in the division fight each other. And then guess what? Winners fight winners and losers fight losers like we used to do. Because sometimes the guys with two and three losses, when you put them in the ring together, you get a classic. Like, I don't know, Gotti Ward, anyone? Did anyone think that they were our future? No, but they gave us one of the greatest trilogies boxing's ever seen. That's what we used to have. Not, oh, let's build this up. Oh, I'm not ready. I need a warm-up fight for my third time. How many many fights did Danny Garcia have at the welterweight division? Seriously, a warm-up fight. Get out of here. Stop it. Let's segue over to Danny Garcia, who fought last week for the PBC. uh, As they... You know, it was a charity weekend. Danny, uh, I, I don't know, collected cans out before the fight for charity or whatever horse shit. He... Here's the thing. If you're going to do charity, don't take a fucking camera crew with you. Seriously. There's <laughs> nothing I fucking hate worse than a guy who's got a million dollar haircut pretending he's doing charity work. And it fucking shows. Right. And it makes me sick. And I know that's probably going to get me hate mail. Lee, you're a hater. They're doing great things for charity. Okay. Okay whatever um maybe it is and maybe it's a great thing and maybe people benefit by the amount of shit he posted on facebook the guys that i am impressed with are guys like bernard hopkins where you will never hear about the shit he's doing okay okay (laughs) he's building whole fucking neighborhoods like the stuff bernard hopkins has done with his money and his time and the junior boxing programs that he worked like it's phenomenal it's phenomenal it's phenomenal Okay, that's who he is as a man. Same thing for Andre Ward. You're not going to hear about it. I know Andre Ward gives back. I know he's in Robert Guerrero does a ton of shit. The only reason anybody knows about it is because he's got a press guy who sends out press reports every three and a half (laughs) minutes on the topic. And I don't even think he's keeping up with it appropriately because he likes to do that stuff. When you're out doing Facebook live while you're doing your charity stuff. Mm, it doesn't sit right with me. Not to mention, I just don't like Danny Garcia. I don't know what it is about this guy talking so much shit when there are fights within the PBC that he could make to establish the quality of fighter that he thinks he is. Like, he thinks he's a better fighter than he actually is. Yep. Yes, he does. And so does his daddy. His shit legitimately does not stink. No, look, you know, this weekend proved how much bs we have going on right now in the sport but when danny garcia said he needed a warm-up fight for keith thurman that meant him just going in and throwing power punches all night like there was no kind of skill in that fight last saturday there was no there was no he wasn't building up to anything there was no oh i'm gonna practice this move or you know show my my offense off tonight he went in there and he tried knocking that guy out for every round. Every what did it go? Six or five rounds, yeah. Lee? If yeah. you have it in front yeah. of you, um, just try to take his head off. No, but even the commentators. If you listen to uh, Tarver, who's a boxer, he was even explaining how the fight was was n- not a great performance from Danny Garcia at all. Thurman, Thurman ate him alive, of course, but I mean seriously. It's like it would be like a pitcher Lee, who's getting ready for the World Series, tells his his coach he wants to he wants to warm up, 
and then goes out there and just throws nothing but 100 mile an hour fastballs the whole warm up. That's all I'm doing. That's not, I mean, how is that getting prepared? I don't know how you put it, but it was such a letdown last Saturday on what Danny did in there, and especially in front of the fans in Philadelphia. Um, the guy had ought to offer nothing. He seriously, there. <laughs> It was it was a PBC fight, man. This is what the PBC is giving us. This is why we're losing fans. This is why everyone in the the see, we we almost killed all that talk. You know, we we started dampering it down at least when Pacquiao and Mayweather were chasing each other and they were both doing million pay per view buys. This is why the boxing world stretched that bullshit fight out too, Lee. They, they were just as guilty as everyone else who stretched that fight out. But we liked it. We liked, you know, putting the damper down on the big media heads that love to say that the MMA is taking over boxing. Right now, I really don't have an argument for that anymore. And it's it's not, it's not that it's scary, but it's such a letdown to me right now. It's just upsetting that we have lost, it seems, the guys that are trying to carry this sport as far as being legend, legendary fighters. Like, there is the... The money is going to come if I fight or if I don't fight. I'm here to be the next Sugar Ray. I'm here to be the next Ali, Duran, Chavez, whoever you want. It's sad that we've lost that. We have these 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 guys now that... that and, and you know how they stick it to you is right away it's, uh you don't care about our health. You're not in here throwing punches. I'm the guy who's fighting, blah, 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 blah. And that's true. But I also give you my hard-earned money. I also wake up at 3.45 in the morning, and while I don't work out, I do go to work. Um, Come home, feed my kids, miss my kids when I'm at work. I do everything that you guys do. I just don't fight, but I pay you guys. I just don't like, I don't know if I like paying for it anymore. I don't know if Saturday, that was really what I wanted to do on my Saturday night. I should have known better, Lee. I should have known that that Danny Garcia was going to, that was going to be a bullshit fight that I didn't really have to watch. I watched it because I love boxing, but these fighters, I don't know if I have a connection with these guys anymore. Right. Seriously. Even even Saul Alvarez. I mean, he and the Metskins don't get him as hard as they should. Metskins used to be a lot harder on there. When Chavez was in his prime, damn, if he didn't have a great round, they would be on top of him. And Canelo has gotten a, a somewhat of a pass. He gets somewhat of a pass, this kid. No. Go ahead, Lee. No, now get off track. Fine. Let's assess. Okay? Shall we? All right. Yes. Let's assess. Tyson Fury is back on social media. And doing great good for things, him. that guy. Yeah. We need him. We need Lee. He's a spark in the sport that we do not have right now. Triple G is really not even a spark. Triple G is a spark hey, when you hey, actually hey. fight back him. Back off of Triple G right now, mister. He's up in Big Bear hey, I'm working just out for an it. imaginary fight. I am just <laughs> keeping it really. I'm not lying right now. Triple G is not the most exciting character no, out Tyson of the Fury ring. Not too... the, the band of gypsies by hey, far. Yes, he is. The fact that... Yeah, and did you see his did you see Billy yes. Joe? I sent yeah, no, you no, I know Billy you probably Joe. didn't. Did you see yeah, Billy yeah, Joe yeah. Sanders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bentley in front of the R V. You gotta him. love that kid. Man. Uh he said a gypsy G- life, Lee. You've heard of thug a life, gypsy dream. Gypsy life now. Uh, yep. Canelo Miguel Cotto in 2017 is, gr- we agree, grade A horseshit. Yeah, uh, he, yeah, he wants to retire. Hey, hey, he's he's a legend. That's fine and all, but you're not getting Canelo after you told me you want you want out. I'm done with these fights. These are these are bullshit. Canelo needs a fight. One of the, the 154 pounders that are all undefeated. I know Al Heyman owns like the whole division, but something needs to get worked out there. Or you need to fight Triple G. That's just all there is to it. I don't. Or uh, if they did the Pacquiao thing, I guess I would probably buy into that one just because I would be interested to see if Manny could slap the shit out of Canelo for 12 rounds. That's interesting to me. Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, will it live up to the hype? Yeah. <sighs> It should. It, it, um, for whatever hype is left, yeah, that fight should live up to it. Lee, I'm not sure 
that the average fan knows about those two yet. I really not. You give them all is this PBC, PBC credit. Have, Are there people into the PBC? That's what I'm telling. You. No, I do. I do not think so. Or the numbers would be better. They would consistently stay at a high rating, and they don't. They they fluctuate from zero to one million, zero to one million. Boom! Then you get a six million spike. The NBA or what was it? The Olympics basketball was playing right before that. But I mean, bam, they went to six million and then never reached out again, never even reached half. So and I don't know what Danny did. Hopefully, Danny, um, you might be able to find those numbers. No, I, I didn't I really look on today's. News. There's nothing. You else. don't see him for today. And there's only one other topic today's. to talk about, and that's uh, King Kong Bundy. Oh, don't even Luis talk Ortiz. about it. that's another. Bullshit what the fight. fuck was that mess? And why would know, HBO man. put that on the... Again, what is HBO doing? Are they just taking these low-budget, didn't cost this much, we want to go on I, vacation I think, fights? I'm hoping that the network isn't um, ready to pull the plug. I'm hoping that the person that's running HBO isn't really in touch with the sport, so they just need to replace him, and then everything will work itself out. Because to be honest with you, if I was the head of the network in boxing boxing does a good portion of a good um viewership for hbo um i wouldn't i wouldn't let that go if i'm hbo i would try to sit down all these promoters and ask them why the hell they can't work with each other and what needs to happen to get them to the fact that hbo is so out of touch with it seems to be al Heyman themselves um maybe i why can't hbo put HBO put PBC on the back. Let let Al Heyman put PBC somewhere in the ring and then have him pay half of whatever their fighters are demanding. HBO come in with the same money and Al Heyman can dip into whatever investor's money that he, I don't know where the hell he's getting all his money from, but grab it from there and then work their way out. I don't know if they're, you know that old saying, there's a will, there's a way. I don't know why HBO can't work with these guys. And to me, that shows the lack of leadership on HBO side. I think it's their guy. I'm hoping it's not the network. I'm hoping it's the guy that's just running it for them. Okay. Well, I'll I'll end the show with this one question. No, no, no. We got quick. No, quick I've got. Points. I've got. Uh, before you do, all, uh, we'll end on my topic. So go ahead. Uh, no, oh, no. You want to end on yours? What you got? What do you got? Fast top topics that I didn't see this week. Fast. Okay, Gar- uh, Crawford and Garcia going at it in social media. The only reason why I bring it up is because it's getting really interesting. I think everyone that in- looks at boxing is going to want to see the- these yeah, two. Yeah, I saw that Angel one Garcia come up and- called him a nappy yeah. hair. Okay. Uh, Crawford called him a meth head, a dope head, a drunk. <laughs> he put he put uh, Angel Garcia's on, uh, on um, Scarface's uh, body. <laughs> in front of all the cocaine, it's like getting really good. If them two ever fight, if Danny and Terrence Crawford ever get it on, there's going to be major fireworks in that in that uh, build up to that fight. And I'll tell you, this is Angel Garcia must really have a drug problem though, because this is like the third time a fighter has brought in Danny Garcia's dad's drug use. So I don't know if that's just a bad. Oh no, it's not. Because did you hear Angel's response? And, <laughs> Angel Garcia was saying that uh, Terrence Crawford don't know what it is to sell kilos, Lee. You know, he sells kilos. He's back from the um, Pablo Escobar days, that nappy hair. Oh, yeah, go look up that one. Yeah, so, yes, Angel Garcia is a drug addict because he literally came out Good and said him. it. So, yeah. Good for him. Okay, on a sad note, now I won't end no, on a I sad got, note, I got a but a sad one note is. You'll enjoy it. Okay, Roman Gonzalez's trainer um, was declared brain dead yeah, this weekend. That. How did it happen? Yeah, bad stroke. Uh, he had a bad stroke. They tried to do an emergency surgery, and it didn't work. So that's very bad for Roman Gonzalez, who looked like he was getting right into the prime of his career. At least making he was making some good money fighting for HBO right now. And hopefully he can get rebound off losing his trainer. Uh, yep. One more. Um, I think Marquez versus Pacquiao, it might happen, Lee. Um, right now, Marquez has brought up Pacquiao's name three times this week. Um, Pacquiao has also said that the knockout loss still haunts him to this day. So don't be surprised if Marquez is like a dark horse in the runnings, just in case Manny declines everything else. 
All Go right. ahead, I'm going to end on an enjoyable note, Andrew. You yeah. only have $100. Everybody, all six of you listen. You only have $100 to spend on your next viewing event. Okay? You're going to watch one fight with that $100. You only get to select one fight. 